Hey yo, Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to the Sims 4 City Link from Rags to Riches. I have been assessing just all the different things that come with a city living that Junie could do to actually earn some money, and it seems that we've done pretty much everything. I mean, except we haven't really finished writing songs, so we can do that. Well, like writing singing songs instead of, you know, guitar songs or piano songs. And June reached cooking level two. He learned recipes for eggs and toast, BLT, chips and salsa, and fish tacos. He also learned a cool new combo ad trick move. Really? Did he? Because he seems to always be putting his earwax in the salad. Although I hope this one turns out a little better. We are making a, a larger serving so that June actually has food to go to rather than constantly having to... It's poor. It's a it's a poor salad. He made another earwax salad. Great. Good job, June. I knew I could always count on you to feed yourself properly. Or more like make yourself sick. So as I was saying, th there are d a few different ways to actually write songs. Or, yeah, to write songs, right. One is through the guitar here, or one is through the microphone here. And they both do with deal with the uh, singing skill. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he actually just grabs a guitar for this one. So I'm just going to ask him to resume a groovy ballad and see what, is, what is it called? A groovy jazz ballad. Okay, sorry. Let me be specific. A groovy jazz ballad and see if he goes, yeah, he goes directly to the microphone instead of the guitar. So we can most definitely do it on both. So we're going to finish writing a song, which is one of the ways to make money in this rugs to riches sound. So we're not going to get a job. We, like, I'm gonna, I want to save the jobs later for like a future generation so that Junie's kid or children, I don't know if he's going to have one or many, so that they can, you know, try out all the jobs. Maybe if it's just one kid, he can try out all the jobs and be just like his grandma, Gina, who never wants to stick with just a single job. And there's also the festivals, so like the Humor and Hijinks Festival, if you win on whichever side, you get some money and obviously uh, some kind of prize like the jokesters always get the the microphone that june is using right now and they also get the fireworks and stuff like that then there's uh the flea market where you can sell things and will sell your own things your own collectibles or your own paintings which is also something that you could do at a yard sale and we already did the yard sale where we try to sell our snow globes like all the time and there's also geek con where you can participate in two different contests to earn money but you need video gaming skill and programming skill for those. And Junie has neither to the high. So he's not really been earning much money from that. And the Spice Festival, you can earn 100 simoleons just from winning the curry eating contest. So that's another way. I don't think there's anything you could really do at the Romance Festival to earn money. Except, you know, paint a flirty painting and then save it to sell it later at a yard sale or something. And of course, there's also the karaoke nights. Uh, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Which you can go sing and hope that your score is high enough so you can win 500 simoleons. And I think that's really it for the things you can, you can do in city living to actually earn money without actually getting a job. Of course, there's always the other ways of earning money like writing songs on guitar or programming or, I don't know, selling your baked goods that you cook from like your kitchen or I don't know what else is there there's like so many different ways of earning money in this game <laughs> oddly enough this pack only has one two three like four or maybe more I don't know if there's a, if there's a way to earn money that I haven't really noticed yet please let me know because I would love to know another way to earn money in this game so that you can become wealthy and eventually own the restaurant that he wants to own so he's just gonna keep on singing here, writing this song. We're gonna. What does he wanna do? He wants to sing a karaoke duet. Well, we can do that soon and play video games for an hour. Oh, he's really getting into that video gaming. So we're gonna just. Yeah, he's he's had enough fun, but we're gonna keep writing this song until he finishes it because we really need to get the song out. We've been working on it for quite a few days, and it takes forever to write songs. So today's probably just gonna be songwriting day, and then maybe at night if June has a little bit of time, we'll go out. I don't know where just yet. There is some stuff I wanted to do, like... Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to spoil it right ahead of time. I will save what it is that we wanted to do for later when it happens. As for now, Junie, just just finish your song and we shall... Oh, what? He wants to do something different. He wants to buy a banquet table. No. No, kid. You're not buying a banquet table. You're too poor for that. As usual, something always seems to go wrong. So, uh, just as soon as I took the cut... I heard this going off, like some weird breakage sound. So uh, we're going to go over here and complain to the landlord because 
Our pipes and electric box are kind of broken, and that's not good. Who's our landlord, anyway? I don't, I don't think I know that guy very well. Oh, June is just calling him. Okay, well, at least June has his number. Sure, since you're a tenant in good standing, I'll take a look. Okay, like, what What if we weren't in good standing? Would you just leave us to do it by ourselves? Well, we'll wait for this guy to come in, and maybe we can talk him up, actually. You know what, June? Don't, don't record your song. Let's try to talk him up after he finishes this so that we can uh, see if he'll help us in any way, shape, or form. I don't really want to, you know, June is not going to become a little bit of a, a nasty boy just trying to get cheaper rent or anything. What is he going to do? He didn't finish a salad. What? Okay, weird. Okay. So our, the landlord is going to fix the stuff here. It already stopped making the annoying sounds. Thank goodness. Because that was, <laughs> oh my gosh, that just, just, just sound in your ears. Just not pleasant. So we're going to let the landlord do his thing here. Junie's apparently going to eat his salad since he got hungry again. I mean, it, it, yeah, you know what, dude? That's your own fault. You made bad food. Okay. I wonder how long it takes the landlord to fi finish these things because we really would love to talk to him. But I don't want to disrupt whatever he is doing because if I do, then he's not going to get it done. And I want him to get it done just so we can see if uh, the landlord can, you know, be we can become buddy-buddy with the landlord and maybe get some favors or something. The two started chatting and suddenly Elsa and maybe someone else who showed Okay, it's just Elsa seems to have showed up for game night, even though we don't have a video game console are you going to be playing games here dude I, I i don't know did you bring a game console because we don't have one how are we going to play games we don't even have a computer elsa what elsa's on crack man i swear if anybody else shows up they're also on crack so the landlord and june are just they seem to be getting along pretty well right now let's actually compliment outfit those are some nice green uh what are they called? Overalls. There we go. I was just like, uh, what's the name? It's uh, it's processing slowly. Let's flatter him. I guess like, you know, being very charismatic. Is June just flirting with Elsa there for a second? Oh, whatever. I am done with understanding his romance uh, aspirations here. He can do it himself. I don't care. We're going to try to get to know the landlord and maybe... Hey, June, we'd love to have you join the Renegades. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. This is what I think, though. Uh, I was once the leader of the Renegades. Yeah, I was once the leader, and I left for a reason. I am not about that life, girl. Not about that life. Okay. June wants to get to know Miko. Near friendly relationship. Who? Please don't tell me she's here. She's not here, right? Ah, Isaiah, the landlord, is an insider. And Elsa left? Oh, yeah, she left. The whole thing is over. Okay, well, that was interesting thing that she came over and tried to disrupt the conversation here for. Let's a deep conversation and try to figure out what else is the landlord's traits here. He is... Oh, he's just an insider and we don't know the other ones. So, if we, I feel like if we get close, maybe, you know, he'll be right over, like, super fast when we need something fixed or... We can just call him for just whatever, random things, like loans. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to grab... Like I said, I'm not going to grab a loan. Even though June worked hard to get that charisma skill, I still feel like getting loans is a little bit cheaty. Because especially since it's not really part of the city living pack, so it's just it's a little too cheaty for me. I don't know. So lots of enthused about guitar solos, and uh, there's about a new show. He's a he's cheerful and insider. Oh, he seems to be a pretty good person so far. Let's see if we can get to know his other trait and see if he's gonna be a good fit for June's clan. That sounds really bad, but uh, June's group of friends there less creepy. Ooh, now we can give him an apartment key, but he's a landlord, so do we really need to do that? Like. If he wanted to, he can literally walk in whenever he wants. Like, this is Sims. Let's be real here. There's no rules. Let's... I uh, think we can have another deep conversation, then, if I can find it here. Yep, there we go. Oh, and he's a music lover. Wow! Okay, good friend, good friend. The landlord is going to be our good friend, then, because he... We seem to vibe with his interests. I mean, he loves music. He's a pretty happy guy, and he likes to be in the know. So that's pretty chill. Okay, so Junie's just gonna finish talking with this guy and maybe you know, continue his song. I guess we'll be going out later than I thought tonight because uh, the land everything breaking here and the landlord showing up was just not part of my plans whatsoever. Ooh, we get to name a song. So let's see. It was a groovy jazz ballad. Uh, so how about we name it... 
Harambe. Harambe. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be a little. Oh. June just finished writing lyrics on the on the the ro on the the okay on the the royal we microphone. I think he's still level nine. He can send the lyrics off. Yeah, we know that he can do that. He can already. Okay, well he's now the landlord is using our stuff. Let's uh, license Harambe for. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, just cover your ears so you won't have to hear the landlord singing because holy crap. Okay, June is just actually, I think he's going to stay in for the night since he's feeling quite hungry and very, very tired. So, oh, right. Licensing the song gets you money. Okay, June just licensed song lyrics. Look for royalty payments to start soon. Hey, you guys, we just got our first song out. This is a momentous occasion which June is just feeling really tired about because he spent all day just trying to crack out the last little bits of that song and he did it. He did it, so he should really be proud of himself, but instead he has to hear his landlord sing terribly. What's going on with you? Yeah, you're just tired. Okay. He is feeling confident because, oh, from Wordbird, writing quality lyrics. Time to shine, time to sing. June has confidence that only a masterful lyricist can bring. Ooh, how rhymey. Okay, Junie, just finish your nasty salad. Well, you're going to have to sleep off because, really, there's nothing I can You made that, okay? Oh, the landlord's going to come over here and talk to us. Okay. Well, let's have a friendly conversation with the landlord. Then, I mean, he is our friend. He is our friend, right? Yeah, he's our friend now. In addition to be our landlord. And uh, I guess we can... Uh, can we lie to him and tell an unbelievable story? Because let's, let's be for real. June, this awkward kid, does not know any unbelievable stories. Oh, God, you guys, Penny Possessed. She does not like us at all. Like, not in a romantic sense at all. Because we just seriously told her off last episode. It was just like... No, lady, you just you can't do this. Or was it the last episode? I can't remember if it was the last episode or the episode before that. But she just she needs to learn boundaries. You can't just walk into my apartment without being invited in. Like, please. Okay, June, finish up your salad. It's time to sleep. I know he's gonna be a grandma by going to bed after like around ten, ten thirty, but June is a grandma, okay? And this is a grandma. He worked all day just to make some money, and uh, again, he'll go out tomorrow to make some more money at the karaoke bar. And I figure we should probably do something else to make money. I mean, we can have a yard sale. That's pretty much all I can think of right now. Like, really, there's just four things to make money. I feel like there should be more. Besides careers, you know, I would love for June to get a career, but I, that's really not in the spirit of from rags to riches, and I want to keep it that way. I want to keep it from rags to riches. So, we'll, we'll maybe see about getting you a computer soon and maybe working on programming and video gaming skill. And maybe then he can succeed at GeekCon. Whenever that happens, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But, you know, when it does, he'll be awesome at it. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Wow, that's a very flat... Oh, God, they're crawling on the walls. Okay, we should probably... Uh, Oh, God, we need to move out of here. I, I I cannot Oh, eradicate. What does eradicate mean? What what exactly does he mean with eradicate? And where's Nobuya that he's, like, going to chat? No, June, go get rid of the... Oh, sorry, I'm having a little bit of a panic attack here. I hate, hate, hate insects. If you watch my Stardew Valley series at all, you know just, like, with what kind of fiery passion I hate anything that creeps and crawls and... Oh, God, it's all over the floors everywhere. I mean, oh, 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 June, get over here and kill these things right now, boy. I am not messing. Finish eating your salad and get over here. What does he want to do? He wants to complain about it. Yeah, you're going to complain about it soon. You're... Oh, well, uh, yeah, seeing critters. Why don't you come over here and get, get rid of them? Please, boy. Oh, my gosh. You are annoying me. What are you doing? You're going to examine them, and then you're going to be like, trying. oh, you're going to stop them? Oh, he's going to spray them. I really hope this doesn't make it worse. It looks like it's working, though. So far, so good before they actually, you know, come back, which is exactly what's going to happen because those things never actually go away. Let's be real now. Oh, he, oh, that was a handiness skill. Okay. Okay. Go go in there and take a shower, dude. You you did good, kid. You did good. I, I approve. <laughs> you saved me from having to see those creepy crawly things again. Although we will see them again, seeing as we're living in an apartment that needs a lot of TLC. Just like we'll see the little rodent friends that come out of that hole. And that's not... I mean, you know, rodents with me, they're okay. They're creepy and nasty and everything. But uh, they don't have the nasty creep crawl factor of insects. Jesus Christmas. Freaking... 
I can't. I just can't. Nope. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna work on this getting money thing a lot faster as so we can get out of this really crappy apartment and find something better in June. We'll have to deal with all of the insects. And I won't have to deal with all. Of it. Let's let's be for real. We're doing it for me. I don't want to see the insects ever again, but I know we will. So I'm just not looking forward to that day. He's he's having a very bad aftertaste in his mouth from the poor food. Still his own fault. But uh, yeah, take that shower, June, and pee a little, I guess, since you do need to pee. He's feeling pretty well rested. We're actually going to put the guitar in our inventory. Let's see. Put it in inventory. There we go. We're going to put the guitar in our inventory, and we're going to go about... First things first is that I want to meet with a friend. Which friend, you ask? You'll see soon. You will see. J okay. No, not that outfit. I really need to get rid of that outfit. Right, you can also busk for money, but let's be real here. Busking, I'm like, this is a super real episode right now. Everything, like, a super real talk right now. Busking is just not good for money. You rarely get tips, and it's just, like, if you try to do that every single day, it just it wouldn't amount to much. You'd get at most, like, what, 50 simoleons maybe per day? Not good at all. No, and that that's a lot of time spent doing that stuff. So just just no. Okay. So let's go out and we're gonna meet with our friend now. Let's uh let's just take Junie out here and um after we meet with our friend here, let, let's just zoom in on Junie and see what his face is like right now. He's probably feeling super confident. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get some water? I don't think so. Let's meet with our friend now. So we hooked up Salim with Candy, and I think it's about time that we hook up Raj with someone. Do not watch your performance do not go and tip anybody just come over here and let's talk with raj let's uh flatter him tell him that he's looking mighty dashing today it's it's uh <laughs> i've never seen him in clothes like this so it's a little weird seeing him like this let's uh let's not insult him now let's uh ask him if he's single and see if he actually is i mean i feel like he is because he's living with his mother and the description for his family says that he's his mother is kind of sort of pressuring him to find someone and so we we want to see if that's still the case i think it might be yeah he's single okay so let's try to hook him up with someone hook up with now who do you want to hook him up with i don't exactly know who's single and who isn't but uh i mean faust she's she's okay she's not really we're not really that close with faust do I hook him up with Yuki? I feel like that would be a really weird pairing. Or Luna. We didn't... When did we meet Luna? I don't know when we met Luna. Let's see. Who else do we know here? We can hook him up with Sophia, Elsa's sister. That would be a, a little bit interesting there. I don't see that happening. Uh, who else? Ayaka Tanaka. Who, who do we have in here? <laughs> Let's hook him up with Penny Pizzazz. That would be the biggest, like... I don't know. The weirdest... Wait. Oh, right. I was like, why isn't Elsa here? Right, because she's our girlfriend. I was just like, huh? So let's try to hook him up with Penny Pizzazz and see how that turns out. I don't know if it's going to work. I really hope it does so that Penny can stop bothering us. It seems like he'll introduce himself to her, so that's pretty good. So let's go over here and work out together after, you know, trying to hook him up with her and seeing that he's, he's actually doing pretty well in life. That's not too bad. Ooh, we got 224 simoleons from Harambe. That's awesome. I am so proud of you, June. You you wrote a great song. Can you just, uh... Okay, you're gonna get to heavy lifting. That means you're gonna stink pretty soon, aren't you? Although, you know what? At least you'll <laughs> get rid of those scraggly little arms and gain a little bit of muscle. Which, I think it'll look good on him. Don't you think so? I think a little bit of muscle will look good on Mr. Skinny Boy, who doesn't seem to ever really gain weight, either. Oh, uh, he's... I don't know. I guess, you know, every sim is built differently. But uh, after we're done with our workout, I figured that we could probably sell some stuff before going to the karaoke lounge, karaoke bar. I never really know what to call it. I'll just call it a karaoke lounge. Ooh, is this a tra trainer? Oh, it is. Okay, so let's ask her to mentor us. We can, uh, we can't. Why is he getting so many invites? We like, we'd love to have you join avant-garde. What do you think? I think not. June isn't the avant-garde type. Seems like we, oh, I guess she's already probably mentoring him, huh? She's pretty much, yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Okay, get mentored, June, and learn how to work out a little better. And then we can go off to make some money, as is June's calling. 
Oh, Don, is that really what you want to be wearing here? I mean, I guess he's probably trying to expose himself to the lady so he can get a date. Or, uh, you know what I mean by a date, right? It's not exactly a date, but it's a... <laughs> let's call it a lay, then. So, Don is gonna just do his thing, and Junie's here making muscle. I mean, he did actually gain a little muscle when he stood up last time, and... Ooh, look who's here. It's Mom, and Mom, <laughs> she actually looks like she's squinting, like, really hard. Because she usually wears glasses, and it's, it's weird to actually see her without the glasses. I, I made her, like, right off the bat with glasses, and ooh, Junie and Gabriella aren't getting along that well. Alright, Gina, you get that punching bag. You can do this, girl. You can do it. I think we should probably, like, go upstairs and play some basketball with Mom. That's something that we haven't really... Ooh, June reached fitness level 5. He can now make protein shakes at the bar, and I see June's dad here. Oh, you guys. You guys. I wonder what's gonna happen between this... No, I'm kidding. It seems like they don't really interact with each other. Like, they don't care for one another, which is, is okay. I mean, that would make sense. Like, why would you want to start a fight? Unless you're me. June is... Uh, he's fatigued from working out as much as he has. Let's, uh... Oh. Oh! Are you mad that we're not inviting you to our group? Oh, he's mean. He's mean. That explains everything. That ex yeah, he's totally, like, an actual real stalker. That's what it is. Okay, Nobuya. June, really? Okay, you're gonna, like, kill yourself, kid. Please stop. You're gonna kill yourself? Just keep talking to your dad here. Who is apparently here for, uh, uh, fancy reasons or something. I don't know. Why are you wearing those clothes, man? Why don't you wear regular workout clothes? This isn't the ballpark, dude. So we can maybe play... Why is he sad? He was just mean to everybody. Now he's being sad. I don't know. Let's go try to play basketball with... Actually, I wanted to play basketball with Mom, so let's try to get her in our group. I know Raj left already. So add to group. I think he left. I know June was trying to say goodbye to him. I, I don't know if Raj actually left. Okay, let's go over here. Let's play some basketball. Let's shoot around together. Is there... Challenge. Aha! Challenge the dunk competition, hoops competition. Let's challenge the hoops competition. Let's challenge Mom and Dad to the hoops competition. Let's... Yeah. Okay, stop chatting with them and let's get them all a basketball in. I, I actually really, really love this. I When I was a kid... And teenager, actually. I used to love basketball. It was... Oh. Now, part of me still does, actually. It's just so much fun. Just shooting around and just, you know, trying to see with your eye what kind of shot you can make from any part of the court. I, uh, I'm not going to brag, but this is kind of bragging. I was actually really good at shooting three-pointers. Like, all the way from out here, out here. Never really from this side. I always seem to overshoot it over the basket. So that's probably was my weak point and i couldn't really shoot two pointers like at the free throw line here so that was a little bit yeah june seems to be a little bad at this even though he's fitness level five but that's okay uh, i don't know how these two are going to get along with the shooting but uh let's see i think it's mom shot next yep she's shooting right from the free throw line okay let's her ball disappeared okay oh she missed it seems like neither okay the, this family clearly has no basketball skill to be talked about oh you poor poor people it's okay just keep practicing and you will get there eventually yeah okay this is embarrassing so uh, let's take a cut here until june can go and sell some stuff 110 percent sure that junie may have accidentally gotten miko knocked up i could have sworn that the woohoo interaction didn't actually do that so i don't know how that happened i, I know unless she's having woohoo with someone else and we don't know it <laughs> that would be really majorly screwed up. Okay, let's uh, let's load up this table with our snow globes. Waiting for... There we go. Waiting for the karaoke contest to start. Let's actually sing in the karaoke contest now. Weekender, of course. Of course we're going to do Weekender. You know that we're going to do Weekender. And uh, we'll get the table ready here. So, ooh, I, actually, don't we have a painting? Yeah, we'll sell that later. Oh, candy. Let's zoom into Junie actually sing. Oh, we can't even hear him over her. Oh, candy, please. Oh, jeez, my ears. I mean, I can kind of sort of hear him from one ear and not the other, so it's a little... Oh, candy, why are you ruining our ears? Okay, there we go. That's so much better. God, this song is so good. Juna scored a 74 out of 100. Again, not that good, but he's he's feeling pretty tired, so... If that has any influence on his score, then I am 100% not surprised whatsoever. 
He's feeling really tired right now, the poor kid, but like, what can I do? He needs to make some money to get out of that roach infested rat trap. Because that's literally what it is. There's roaches and there's rats, and let's just, uh, ten table and start a street sale. We do have a club gathering going on right now, but they can do whatever they want to do. I mean, clearly they're enjoying Tetsu Kobayashi's performance, and he's probably going to win the karaoke contest again because that's what he did last time. He's going to steal it right from under our noses, you guys, and we can't do anything about it. We just have to accept it as it is. Junin cannot improve his singing skill already. He is a level 10, so the most he can do is probably be well-rested, inspired, which is something we have to think about doing next time. We have to make him inspired before he sings in the karaoke contest. And then, maybe then, he will 100%, without a doubt, score the highest score. But for now, he's uh, doing the best that he can. Unless, I don't know. I don't know. Unless somehow, he somehow wins. I don't know. Looks like, oh, Joaquin is coming out and Olivia showed up to check out the snow globes. Don't, oh wait, did he, I don't think he actually came out to check out the snow globes, huh? He came out to talk to June. Joaquin, why are you, I mean, we like never really talked, did we? Or did we talk at, when I was a kid and you're an adult? Okay, okay. That would make sense. So let's, I guess, get to know you while we're waiting for someone to, there's that child who always buys stuff from us. <gasps> who was it? Olivia, yes! Olivia bought a snuggle finally, and Joaquin is a goofball. That's cute. I'm gonna, ch yeah, I'm, I'm trying to ignore the elephant in the room, which is uh, Miko being pregnant. The mixologist spawned right into our table. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be stuck there for a while. Enjoy your new spot, lady. You're stuck there for, you're stuck with me now. Let's keep talking to Joaquin while we wait for more people to spawn here and tr buy our snow globes, maybe, hopefully. I mean, if we can make 2,000, like, if we have 2,000 total, that would be amazing. That would be great. Maybe, maybe soon, like, you know, again, when we have another 5,000, we can move out of here to a better apartment. Because we already have the, some of the furniture. So really, all we need to afford is the deposit and the rent. And I know the apartment won't look too nice with, with just, like, three pieces of furniture, but that's okay. That's totally acceptable. June can accept that, and he can live with that. And let's uh, discuss interest so we can get to know Joaquin's other traits. It's just a goofball for to us for now. Come on, Yuki. Come on, Micah. You know you... Oh, yes. You know you wanna. Thank you for buying this snow globe. Thank you so much. Come on, Yuki. It's well, we're not hooking you up with anyone, Yuki. Ooh, Travis Scott. Are you gonna buy a snow globe, or you're gonna just totally ignore us and buy... No, you're just not going to buy anything. You're just going to... Actually, yeah, nobody can really buy anything right now because our mixologist is stuck in our table. We're about to get the results of the karaoke contest and just test who won the contest, of course, with a score of 100. He got another perfect score. So I guess we're going to have to wait until Sunday to see if Junie can actually win one of these. For now, he really needs to pee and he's not getting much sold. I mean, this child is back and she didn't buy anything last time and Scott Longo is here. I don't know if Scott's going to buy anything. Who you want to talk to? Chat with Dina. We're going to see if anybody buys anything. And we'll stay here until midnight trying to sell these. And if not, we'll just we'll just go home, take our losses. Ooh, actually, we did make over 2000 like, total now. So that's, um, I'm happy with that. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. But if, you know, I could sell some more, that would be nice. That would always be nice. So let's get him to hurry up here so he can actually pee. And, oh, he's going to fall asleep pretty soon, isn't he? Yeah, P is not selling any snow globes whatsoever now. Let's clear the table, take it home. Tell the group goodbye because we really need to go before June actually starts falling asleep on his face. We don't want that to happen again. Take the take the tail, please. We can send you to the bathroom in a second, dude. Travis Scott, man, you are a star. You are a star. You deserve to be a celebrity, dude. June, go use. Go, stop talking to Mr. Zest here, who always seems to interfere with our our meetings. Who are you? You seem new. Leland Harrington. Maybe I've seen you before, because we are kind of sort of friends. Oh, Miko, are you ordering a drink? Are you going to get drunk when you're pregnant? She's, like, clipping through the bar. That's how pregnant she is. Oh, my gosh. She's, like, about to pop. You guys, <laughs> what will happen here? I'm going to wait to see if it says that it's June's or it's not, because I'm crossing my fingers that it's not. Because maybe, just maybe, something happened when I was not paying attention to them and trying to edit the audio for what the episode after they had... No, the episode during which they had the woohoo. So, oh... Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. 
Hey, June, can you check if the apartment is clear? I don't want to see any more insects. Let's just uh, get over to the kitchen over there. Go there. I don't want to see any more insects. Please, please, please let there be nothing. He's feeling just tired. I think he would get a mood if there were roaches there. So, yeah, it looks like the kitchen's fine. And it looks like his bedroom is fine, too. I don't see any rats there. So we can just send him off to sleep and call that an episode. Right, Junie? Yeah, you're not going to be nodding for me now because you are just so super tired. Uh, sleep well, boy. I am so sorry that I kept you out so late. But anyway, that is it for this episode. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I have new Sims 4 Steel Living from Rags to Riches videos every single day. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.